guys, I'm back for round three of question and answers. You guys keep throwing questions my way, so I'm going to keep giving you answers. Um, I have a couple questions for today, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. But first of all, let me just say, can we talk about how it is April? Um, my mind is literally blown because, number one, my one-year wedding anniversary is this month, which is crazy. And also, the ebook is scheduled to come out later this month, which I promise that as soon as I have a date, I will keep you guys posted. Um, but for now, we'll just go ahead and jump into the questions. Um, the first question, what are your favorite workout clothes and shoes? Well, my favorite workout shoes, I love the way that Nikes look, but if I'm being honest, I just, thank you to my little brother, he's going to get mad at me if I don't give him credit, um, he bought me a pair of Under Armour Speed Forms um, for Christmas, and then he also got me a different color for my birthday, and they are my go-to workout shoes because they literally feel like you are working out with clouds on your feet. They are phenomenal. I actually have recommended them to um, three or four of my clients, and they've gotten them, and they love them. They're great for running. I do plyos in them. I lift in them. So Under Armour Speed Form for my favorite shoes and my favorite workout clothes. Well, let me just show you these pants that I have on right now. Can you see the color? Okay, I'm obsessed. Um, Glider, G-L-Y-D-E-R. They're, um, uh, I think they just sell stuff online. Sorry if you can hear the dogs trying to get in. They really want to say hi to you guys. Um, but Glider, also this sports bra, Coral. It's a Coral sports bra. has little cutouts. Um, it's also from Glider. So Glider is definitely one of my favorite places for sports bras and bottoms. Um, if I'm going to be doing a really intense workout, I really like to wear dry fit bottoms from Nike or Under Armour. Those are my go-to. Um, sports bras, I love Victoria's Secret, the ones with the little zipper. Awesome. Um, and then I also get a lot of my bottoms from Ellie.com, E-L-L-I-E.com. Um, they're super cute, and I don't know, they just fit me really well. Um, so those are probably my favorite favorite brands right now, which they change all the time, so I'll have to update this someday. But for now, those are my favorite. Um, question number two, how do you balance fitness and going out with friends? Well, all of my close friends and family all know that fitness is a huge part of my life. They know that I don't drink very often um, and that I don't go out and like eat a bunch of crap all the time. And they've just kind of accepted that. So when we do go out, we try to do something that is fitness friendly. So a lot of uh, my girlfriends, they actually will want to work out with me or we'll go on a bike ride or take our dogs to the dog park or something like that. Um, so there are ways that you can go out with friends. Just choose active things to do with your friends. Going out doesn't have to mean going out drinking or going to get dinner at some crappy, greasy restaurant or something. Um, so you just have to make it a priority and you have to... If they're your true friends, they're going to accept the fact that these are the choices that you're making to better yourself and better your life. So they'll be 100% supportive of you. Okay, next question. How do you feel about sugar-free products? Um, I mean, if it's naturally sugar-free, great. But if it's like one of those things, I talked about this in my last video, where the packaging is like sugar-free, fat-free, gluten-free, like... Um, I think it's kind of just marketing to try to rope people in, which it works really well, but I never buy things that are sugar-free, that are advertised as sugar-free, because most of the time if something is advertised as sugar-free, they've put a ton of chemicals in it to make it still taste sweet, even though it is sugar-free. Um, so I personally am not a fan, and I stay away from those kind of products. Next question, can you eat too much fruit? I know there are tons of opinions um, on this topic, and I have kind of a mixed opinion about this. I eat fruit every single day, more than once a day. Um, I, To me, I sh I'm sure you guys have all heard the saying, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing, which is, I think, the case for this as well. Obviously, if you sit around and you eat fruit all freaking day long, you're going to be eating too much fruit. But if you have, you know, two, three, four servings of fruit, I don't think that's a big deal. Just space it out throughout the day and just don't sit on your butt all day. Be active and you'll be fine. Um, so I would say, because I eat fruit 
pretty much every morning with breakfast, whether it's in a smoothie or I have a side of berries or half a grapefruit or something. Um, and then I would say my mid-morning snack, I have um, either an apple or a banana, usually with some peanut butter right before I work out. And then um, I've talked about this too. Every single night, pretty much, I've been on this cherry and almond milk kick. So I'll eat um, some dark red cherries with almond milk. So I usually have fruit three or four times a day myself. So, I mean, obviously everything in moderation, but I don't... Unless you're sitting around literally stuffing fruit in your face all day long, I think you'll be okay. Um, next question. This one is actually really exciting. Now, how do I try to help my husband have a healthier lifestyle or how do I just not let his lifestyle bug me? Actually, the past week, my husband has got back on the health train, so I am like snaps for that, super excited. Um... He's been working out every day um, and making healthier choices as far as, you know, when he does go out to lunch with his work friends, um, instead of seeing him come home with, you know, a Coke, I'll see him come home holding a bottle of water, and I'm just like, heck yeah, one point for fitness. Um, but he's doing a lot better. My biggest thing is I do not nag him about it, because... How would you feel if someone was just constantly nagging, nagging, nagging? It's going to make you not want to do whatever they're nagging you to do. Um, health and fitness, each person's journey is different, and each person's journey is their own journey. So you have to want something in order to make it happen. So I always encourage him um, about whatever he wants to do. Obviously, I'll be like, okay, babe, like, I want you to be around for as long as possible, so I would really love if you would make healthier choices, but I never nag on him, and I think him seeing me making healthy choices is kind of rubbing off and causing him to want to make healthier choices. So like I said, every day this week, um, he's come home from work, and he's gone out in the garage and done um, his own workouts, so I always make sure I don't stand over him, I don't critique him, I just let him do what he's comfortable doing. I am just very thankful that he is starting to work out and eat healthy because um, it's just going to be better for his health in the long run, which is what I'm concerned about. And I always, always, always make sure that that's very clear to him. Um, it doesn't bother me that he doesn't have a six pack or that he's not jacked or ripped or anything like that. I just want him to be healthy because it's going to be better for his life. Um, so that would be that question. The next one, do you train in a gym? If not, where do you take your clients? Um, I do not train in a gym. I actually train all of my clients in my garage, which I will, maybe someday I'll give you guys a little garage tour of my garage gym. Um, it's really small. It's a single car garage, so I have them usually out front and in the garage, but I have it stocked up pretty good with a decent amount of equipment. That's where I do all my workouts, so if it works for me, then why shouldn't it work for my clients? Um, and all of them seem to love it because there's nobody, you know, around watching them. They're in the privacy of the garage um, getting their workouts done. Um, next question, who inspires me? I would say my husband, for sure. He is definitely um, a very, very, very hard worker, and he always makes sure to push me because he knows that right now we're kind of focusing on helping my dreams glisten come true. So he's kind of putting all his dreams on the back burner to kind of push me into mine. And I think that's huge for somebody to put what they want to work toward on hold in order for their loved ones to pursue what they want to go after. So that definitely inspires me. He inspires me to be um, sympathetic. He inspires me to be more giving, more caring. He is very thoughtful when it comes to other people, and I'm kind of always in, like, go, 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 go mode, so sometimes I don't really think about other people as much as I should. So he always um, reminds me to kind of, hey, come back, come back here and focus on, you know, people around you. So that really inspires me that he is so selfless. Um, uh, my grandma, she also, I call her Toy. Um, her name is Lois. She also inspires me, her and my granddad Mike, because they, my granddad Mike is one of the hardest working people that I know. I learned pretty much everything that I know about business ethics from him. Um, basically, find something that you love and bust your butt and figure out how to make money doing it and you'll become successful. So I'm working on it, granddad. 
Um, and then my grandma Lois or Toy, she's just so, her and Adam, I think that's why I married someone like Adam because he reminds me so much of my grandma because they're both just so thoughtful and they're always just wanting to give, give, give to others and just, you know, encourage others and push other people into what they're good at. So they really, really inspire me, um, to be the best me, all three of them. Um, next question. Oh gosh. What does an average day look like for me? Oh my gosh, none of my days are the same. I can give you guys kind of a rundown. Um, okay, Mondays, and Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I train clients in the morning, starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I wake up usually every morning around 6.45, which isn't crazy early, I know, but I don't like waking up early, so why should I? Um... <laughs> And then, so Mondays, I'll wake up and I'll have breakfast. I always, always, always have breakfast right when I wake up or I am a bear. I am always, if I don't have my food, like, get out of my way because I will be so grouchy. Um, so breakfast and coffee is always first on the agenda. And then um, I do a little devotion every morning, usually on my phone for a little bit, let the dogs out, all that kind of stuff. And then I train my clients um, in the morning, and I'm usually done with that close to 10 o'clock. And then I'll eat a second breakfast or snack, whatever, but it's usually a little bit bigger than a snack. It's like a whole meal because your girl likes to eat. Um, so I'll eat, and then I'll while my food is digesting a little bit, I'll hop on the computer, get emails done, um, blog posts up for the week, everything like that, help people who are having issues with the online gym if there are any issues that week. So... Um, take care of a lot of my online stuff, and then I'll usually work out myself from like, I guess probably like noon, 12 to like 1, I'll work out, and then I usually work out, and then I'll eat, wrap up some emails, film any videos that I need to film, and then um, I usually train people from, on Mondays, like 5 to 8, and then Tuesdays is a little bit different. I don't train people in the morning because I have a heavy training load in the evening. So Tuesdays, I still wake up around 6.45, 7. I'll eat a breakfast, um, and then I just hop right on the computer, and I just try to bang out as much as I can for Hit Fusion Online Gym, um, any blog posts that I need to do, any graphics that I need to make. Um, right now, I'm working on editing the ebook. Tuesday is a big day for that. Um, and then... Every Tuesday at noon, Drew, who is my Hit Fusion online gym partner, I'm sure you guys have seen him on my Instagram, pictures of him on the website. Um, we always work out together on Tuesdays, which he literally kills me every single Tuesday. I let him write my workouts on Tuesday, and homeboy knows how to get me out of my comfort zone at the gym, let me tell you that. Um, it's funny, he always says that I get him out of his social media comfort zone because I'm all into social media and he's kind of learning. And I'm and I he gets me out of my gym comfort zone. Um, so I usually go to the gym with him and then I come home, tie up any loose ends on the computer, eat something. And then on Tuesdays, I usually train clients from 3 p.m. until 9 p.m. So it is a long day. And yes, I do eat. Um, my clients know that I need food or I will be grouchy so they don't mind that I'm eating while I'm training them. Um, Wednesdays, Drew and I film for Hit Fusion Online Gym. We film workout videos with Rad Red Creative. They are phenomenal. Love them. Um, so I usually train clients only in the mornings on Wednesday. I'll take one or two clients in the morning and then I go to Tampa, film with um, Rad Red and Drew. And then we usually get back, actually, today, the day that I'm filming this, is a Wednesday, so we just got back from filming. So I am tying up any loose ends that I need to do online, answering emails, recording videos, um, catching up on Instagram comments, all that kind of stuff. And then um, I usually go to Drew's boot camp on Wednesday nights and work out with him and the girls. And then Wednesday nights, Adam and I always go over to our friend's house and we play Monopoly, eat dinner, and just spend time with them, hanging out during the week, kind of breaks the week up a little bit. We always look forward to that. Um, Adam has school, <coughs> excuse me, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so that's why I work late those nights, because he's at school until, you know, 9 or 9.30, so it's not, it doesn't conflict with our schedules. Too bad. Um, so that's Wednesday. Thursday looks a lot like Tuesday, honestly. 
Um, I don't train clients in the morning. I'll wake up, eat breakfast, take the dogs for a walk. Um, I'll work out in the garage for myself, and then I do everything that I need to do for the rest of um, the online stuff. So I answer the rest of my emails. I try to get the bulk of my online stuff done Monday through Thursday so I don't have to be on the computer all weekend. Um, and then I train on Thursdays from 4 to 9. Yep, 4 to 9. And then Fridays. Fridays are amazing because I only work half days. That's one of the perks of working for yourself. Um, I train clients Friday mornings, and then I just, the rest of Friday afternoon, I spend running errands. Um, if I have any appointments for, like, hair or nails or anything like that, I'll take care of that. I do my grocery shopping on Fridays. Um, I make sure to take the dogs out for a long walk on Fridays just because they've been kind of, you know, running around with me all week. And it's just a good time to kind of tie everything together and just chill out a little bit. And then Saturdays and Sundays, it's the weekend. I do whatever I want to do. Um, and then the last question for today, do you always find clothes that fit your body? And then she says, I have a similar build and it's always difficult finding pants that fit my muscular thighs and calves. Any tips or recommendations? Girl, I feel your pain. Let me tell you, I freaking hate jeans because I cannot find any jeans that fit. Okay, first of all, I'm five feet tall. I am really short. I have small waist and I have some honking thighs so jeans are kind of out of the question watching me put on a pair of jeans is a joke can I just throw that out there I am jumping around rolling around trying to get those things up over my thighs once they're up over my thighs they button so easy they're like falling off it's it's so bad listen um my tip for you leggings wear leggings everywhere um that is like my go-to I pretty much live in the winter time the winter time, I live in Florida, winter is like a month and a half long. Um, I wear leggings and boots pretty much every day for those like, for that like month and a half. And then um, in the summertime, I wear jean shorts, which are still kind of a pain because they're like super tight up on my thighs. Um, and it's really hard to find pairs that my butt doesn't hang out of. Um, so jean shorts, but dresses, I would say sundresses and skirts, um, and listen, all this is when I'm not wearing workout clothes because let's be honest, pretty much 9 out of 10 times you're going to see me, I'm going to be in workout clothes, which is awesome because those actually fit me well, so that works for me. But I would say my tips, leggings and dresses, girlfriend. Um, that is the last question that I have for you guys. I will be posting a call for Q&A number four, which I can't believe I've already done three of these now. This is crazy. Um, but as long as you guys have questions, I'm going to show up with answers. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.